What's up guys, I'm Rustin from RossmerTech.com and this is another tutorial in assembly programming. Now in this class I'm going to talk about the compare instruction, so let's get started. Now what is the compare instruction? The compare instruction performs a implied subtraction of the source operand from the destination operand. Neither the source or the destination operand are affected, so let's open this up here. So this is the syntax of a compare instruction here. We start off by typing in CMP, hit space. We type in our destination operand, comma, hit space again, then we type in our source operand. Now, the, the way this works, the source operand is subtracted from the destination operand, and only the flags are affected. All right, we only really use the compare instruction only with conditional jumps. When combined together, they make the assembly programming language equivalent of an if statement. So I'm going to talk more about conditional jumps in my next class, but these are how the flags are affected right here. If our destination operand is less than our source operand, the zero flag is zero and the carry flag is one. If our destination operand has a greater value than our source operand, then both uh, the zero flag and carry flag have a value of zero. If our destination operand is equal to our source operand and then our zero flag would be one and our carry flag would be zero. All right, so let me show you how that works in uh, MU8086. So I'm gonna open that up right now. Let's start off by moving around some values. Let's move into AX, because AX is a 16-bit register and I wanna use some 16-bit values. So let's move into AX, the value of 500, right? So now let's move into BX the value of, let's say, 200, all right? So now we moved into AX, the value of 500. We moved into BX, the value of 200. Now let's use the compare instruction. We start off by typing in CMP, because this is a compare instruction, hit space. We have to give it a destination operand. I'm gonna use AX as our destination operand. We're gonna type in comma, hit space. Now we're gonna type in our source operand, which is BX, right? So now AX has a value of 500, BX has a value of 200. Now AX, has a greater value than BXR. So if our destination operand has a greater value than our source operand, both the, the zero flag and the carry flag would be set to zero. So let's test it out. I'm gonna hit emulate. Let's hit single step. So, so we're moving into AX, the value of 500. Now the second line of code is highlighted. We're moving to BX, the value of 200. So let's hit single step again. Now BX has a value of 200. Now our compare instruction is highlighted. So once I hit next step, the flags will be altered. So let's hit single steps. So right here, as you can see, our destination operand and our source operand are not affected. The value is exactly the same. The only thing that is affected is these flags here. So our carry flag here is set to zero and our zero flag is set to zero because the destination operand had a greater value than the source operand. Let's test something out. Let's turn this around. Let's make this 200. Let's close this first. Let's make AX have a value of 200 and let's give BX a value of 500. We changed it around. Now our destination operand has a smaller uh, value than our source operand. So let's find out what happens. So if our destination value has a lesser value than our source operand, the zero flag should be set to zero and the carry flag should be set to one. Let's find out. Let's hit emulate. All right, so our first line of code is highlighting. We're moving into AX, the value of 200. Let's hit single step. Now AX has a value of 200 here. Now the second line of code is highlighted. Move into BX, the value of 500. So let's hit single step. Now BX here has a value of 500. Once I hit single step, neither of the AX or BX are gonna be altered at all. Only the flags will be altered. So let me just open up the flags here. So our compare instruction here is highlighted. Once I hit single step, the the flags will be altered. So let's hit single step. And now as you can see, the flags are altered here. So again, our destination operand has a smaller value than our uh, source operand over here. So let's open this up again. Our destination val value, if it has a smaller value than our our source operand, then the zero flag would be set to zero and the carry flag would be set to one. Let's find out. Our carry flag is set to one and our zero flag is set to zero. Pretty cool, right? So let's close this up here. Let's try something else. Let's make them both equal to each other so the zero flag is set. So let's make this one 500. Now both AX and BX have a value of 500, so when they compare, they're going to subtract each other, and then it, the, the result will be a zero. So then the zero flag will be set to one, and the carry flag will be set to zero. So let's hit emulate. Let's hit single step. Now our AX has a value of 500. Let's hit single step again. Now BX has a value of 500. Now our compare instruction is highlighted here. 
Again, only our flags will be altered. So let's hit single step. Our flags are altered. Again, the carry flag has a value of zero and the zero flag has a value of one because they're equal to each other and the result was zero since they subtract each other. Cool, right? Again, we only use the compare instruction only with conditional jumps because uh, the two combined create a assembly programming language equivalent of a if statement. So that's the only reason we'll ever use them. But that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RossmerTech.com and thanks for watching.